Hey, what's going on, Androids? Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com, taking a look at Dayframe once again. Uh, we actually showed you the preview of this application back when it was still a beta, and today the app is finally available on the Google Play Store for everybody. Uh, what the app does is it uh, essentially combines the Daydream feature that we've seen introduced in Android 4.2.2, and it kind of combines it with a uh, Facebook Home. So uh, you get this, uh, you get to see your clock and it presents you with, I guess, just photo streams. It's a photo slideshow of different pictures and stuff from various social networks, whichever ones you want to plug in. And uh, while your phone is plugged in, charging on your desk and you have a nice little stand for it or whatnot, um, this will just start showing you all your photos and you can interact with them by, you know, double tapping to like. It's not going to work because I'm not signed into my Tumblr yet. But uh, Instagram, you can double tap to like, uh, Google Plus, double tap to plus one. Uh, and it's pretty neat because it's just right there. It's presented to you. It's taking what would normally just be your $700 smartphone that's just lying on the table somewhere, uh, not getting any use, sleeping and being lazy, and it, it puts it to work and it's pretty neat. So uh, it's available on Android uh, honeycomb devices on up so that makes it really really uh, helpful useful for those old tablets that you got lying around you can get a nice stand for them put them in your kitchen and you can just be presented with these awesome beautiful photo streams from uh, all the different photo photo and social sharing networks uh, swiping will go ahead and swipe through them again double tap to like you can click the little bottom area here they'll open it up in your browser if you'd like and as you can see all new for a KitKat for the official release is the passive system UI stuff that just hides when you're in slideshow mode. Tapping it will go ahead and bring it back up. Very, very cool. Very, very awesome. And it's, you know, one of those first applications to enable this, as a matter of fact. So I am definitely, definitely liking that. And when you're, you know, you start the slideshow, they're going to go ahead and hide again. There they go. And now you're presented with a completely full screen experience of Dayframe and it's awesome. It's neat. Let me go ahead and jump out of here and we can show you some of the settings and stuff. Uh, you can see here this is just my photo stream from this particular Tumblr user. Tons and tons of cool stuff. Uh, you can search them by topic, by interest, the video game stuff. Uh, that's since that's kind of what I'm into. You can look up specific hashtags via uh, specific social networks. So that's pretty neat. You can just, you know, hashtag Android on Instagram. They'll pull that up. Go ahead and click that and you can see there. And none of these have anything to do with Android. <laughs> um, so it's pretty neat. Uh, Google Plus featured photos, which is probably my favorite because it features the most highest res ones that look beautiful on 1080p. And uh, switching over here, you can see you got all your different uh, settings and options that you can do. The cool thing about Dayframe is it has timers. So whereas normally Dayframe or Daydream feature on Android 4.2.2 would just keep running whenever your phone was plugged in, you can set this to only run during specific times during the day. And if you, right now you can just set this a regular 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's a prime version that you can also get uh, to set more timers. So pretty neat. It's not going to always be running and you can also have it so that it's, you know, only when you have Wi-Fi and only when you're charging, Dayframe will kick up when you're not using your phone. So you just set it to sleep, put it on your desk somewhere, put it on a nice little stand and it's going to go ahead and kick up and start and start rolling. So uh, photo sources, you can see here, these are all the different social sharing, photo sharing, social networks that you can get on Dayframe, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, 500 pics, Google Plus, Twitter. And you can even pull a gallery from your device, stuff that you have stored locally on your phone. Uh, pretty awesome. I mean, I must say, this is a very impressive app, and it's, uh, it seems so simple and easy to use that, uh, I don't know, it's almost like it's, it's, it's just, why hasn't anyone thought of this before? So, pretty neat. Uh, yeah, and I guess that's just going to kind of wrap it up for Dayframe. Uh, this is the same guys, cloud.tv, the same guys that brought you HD widgets and Cloud Skipper. You guys can find it on the Google Play Store right now for absolutely free. With Fandra.com, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next video.